Right, I have a plan. What I'm going to do first is trade the cards I've got copies of for the equivalent card in sets I don't have. So I'm going to trade all my fours, for example, that I have duplicates of until I have fours for every set. Right, Verissio. I'd like to trade some cards with you. Great. I'll give you a matching card from a different deck. What deck are you trading from? Well, first of all, we're going to trade from Mystics. All right. And what card would you like to trade away? The four. Sure. What card would you like? I want the deck of arms. Fair enough. Here you are. Nice trading with you. And you. Now to do that a load more times, because I have a lot of cards to trade. Right. I don't have any spare jacks or queens, actually. What have you got for sale? I have a few choice cards available for the right price. And what price are we talking? Oh, that's... I need a queen. And I need one for the Traveller set, actually. That can come. They are expensive. It's a good thing I brought plenty of money, because those are very expensive cards. And you... Will not offer me a lot for my cards, I see. It, it, I seem to notice that I can't buy things, or rather, I have to buy things for a lot more than I can sell them back for. Not just you, but just trading in general. Right, I could trade my spider jack for an arms and a queen spider for an arms, and I think that would be a whole set. Great. I'll give you a matching card from a different deck. All right, spiders. Excellent. And what card would you like to trade? Queen. That's a good one. What would you take for it? And where's arms? Deck of arms. Fair enough. Here you are. And nice you. trading with you. And you. And last one. Great. I'll give you a matching card from a different deck. What deck are you trading from? I should have a spider jack as well, actually. Deck of spiders. Excellent. And the jack. Okay. And I want it for the arms. Fair enough. Thank you. Nice trading with you. And you. Right. That should be one full set. I hope. If I've done my math right. Oh! Deck of arms provides a 10 plus bonus to one hand, two handed, and archery while in the inventory. Wait, so where's, where's the deck? Oh, I have a lot of cards still. Deck of Arms. Excellent. Right, that was... Th that is a big bonus, actually. Plus 10. And what are the others going to do? I'm going to assume Mystics is giving... Would give me a... Sh uh, a bonus to my magic. I need a Mystic Jack and a Mis Mystic King. Spiders. I don't know what Spiders is going to do. None of going to make me... Squish spiders more easily, right? Jack, seven. Right, you need a six and a five. Right, then if I go to Travelers, that should be another full set. Provides a plus 50 bonus to carry weight and one food item per day while in inventory. So I'm just going to find random food in my pack. That's disconcerting. That's the second deck. Perfect. And uh, do we think we can do more. Because I do have arms cards I can trade. I need a builder's three. I've got an arms three. I can get a demon's three as well. We've traded everything we can, so we no longer have any excess duplicates. We, we have, for example, we have a three for all our remaining sets. So we don't need to keep any more of those. We might as well sell them to this gentleman, and he can pass them on to somebody else who wants these fake cards. Because I'm just having to get them off my hands. We have two whole sets now. That's an interesting face you're pulling, sir. Uh, thank you very much for taking the time to trade with me. Let's also try get something to eat before we leave. That's okay. I think the proprietor might be in bed. Yeah, let's not go behind the scenes. Let's go via the tavern. We could have traded away cards from a particular set, such as the Jacks and the Queens, for example, 
to complete the other sets and then worried about those original sets later, if you two are following me. But we don't actually have any more jacks. I don't know if I've mentioned at all. I really don't like it here. No, I don't like it either. We mention it every time we come. Yeah, I've no more jacks, so I, it's impossible for me to complete any other set, so I haven't bothered trading anything away like that this time. But two of the ten sets of cards are complete. And are we up so early nobody's here to serve breakfast? I'm proud, though. We've got... What were the bonuses again? One was plus ten to our... Here we are. Deck of Travelers. Plus fifty carry weight bonus and one random food item per day. And then it was also... Where's the other one? Why is only one deck active? Oh god, I didn't trade away the deck, did I? I don't know the decks in my pack. Deck of Arms. The deck of Arms provides 10... Plus... Deck of Travelers. Am I... Am I blind? I'm... Okay, I, it must just not appear in that list. Oh, but it, you can see it here, right. So this is the bonus my deck of arms is giving me. It's going to make me hit a hell of a lot harder, actually. Now Such what do we do about a breakfast? Shame what happened to Susanna. Her beauty was the only thing worth suffering this place for. Who was Susanna? I've not heard of this Susanna. I am going to go wake the innkeeper. Because I'm of the opinion it's early enough that she should have started her day already, and I'm hungry. But how was I to know she was going to charge us an early riser fee for waking her up in the morning? It was already 8am. I didn't think it was an unreasonable expectation that an innkeeper should be up at 8am to serve breakfast to travellers. What if they're, what if her guests want to leave early in the morning? What if they've got long journeys ahead of them? Skyrim's a dangerous place. They might want to get going on the road before bandits are waking up from their nights of drinking. Right, well, we're stocked up anyway. That's the important thing. We've got two decks of fake cards. And we're going to deal with that mage Tolthir asked us to look into. Or rather, he didn't necessarily ask us to look into it. But he strongly implied that he wanted us to go and deal with it. It's not the sort of thing you, you bring up to somebody that you know goes out and deals with these sort of things. Even though it's not our primary occupation. And there are wolves. Of course there are wolves. And there we go. And I think I've contracted a disease from a wolf. I feel very stiff all of a sudden. Oh, all right. Do I have a potion of cure disease? Right, what? Oh, dear. This might be... This might not go well. Right, let's... we got to keep riding anyway. But right, where were we? It's somewhere this way off the road. How we're going to get up there, I, I'm not too sure. Well, we might have to ride around. Uh, good morning. Is everything okay over... Oh, are you hunters? Yeah, don't mind us. We're just, just riding through. Is this an easier way? And I might have lost the guys. There's a saber cat. Gentlemen. I think going off road, I've lost them. Well, I don't want to go back down to the road. So the saber cat. Right. Let's just keep going. They'll find me. Lucian's got his achievement spear. That works both ways. There is nothing that's too low for them. Let's leave those Civil War soldiers alone. And I can summon Inigo in a pinch. And this is leading me nowhere. Oh, there you two are. Well, there's Lucian. Where's Inigo? There's Inigo. He's fighting the Saber Cat. Of course he is. Or is that just the Stormcloaks? Or it might just be the storm cloaks. We might... Or they can deal with it. They can handle themselves. Uh, it's not very neighborly of me, but... 
Oh, I don't really like them. So, we've absolutely overshot the mage. I think we've just gone straight to Basalt. This is Basalt, isn't it? So there's the excavation site to the right. And, oh, careful. Good girl, Brusa. How far up does this go? Yeah, this was it. The excavation site's just behind those trees. And this is, this is Mazulf proper. And, oh, no, there's Lucian. And it also gives us a chance to try out something new we learned. We finally finished learning clairvoyance. Oh, hello, in I go. Um... Hang on a moment. I'm starting to think I, I studied this wrong. This doesn't seem to lead anywhere. I thought this was going to tell me where I needed to go. But it doesn't seem to be. Maybe if we're inside. Right. Stay together, all of you. Clive. Uh, this is Brusa and Artax. They usually follow Brusa's lead. She seems to be the one who... Knows how to keep herself safe. Artax has a penchant for running into danger. But just just stay together. I'm sure you'll all be fine. I've just noticed a big old smear of blood on the floor. Hello. It's a Khajiit. The Ethereum. The Ethereum. Wait, hang on a minute. Was this one of the locations that Katria wanted us to visit? It is. I'm. I'm sure it is. We never went in there, did we? It. It can wait until we come out. Surely that that side room. If if there's something here, it's probably in with the synod mages. What are the chances that we're going to find an Ethereum shard, the key to the forge? Along with the staff of Magnus, that that seems too good to be true. All right, well, come along. Let's get ourselves inside. Crystal, go on. <coughs> Hello, Paratus. In Oculori. <laughs> Excuse. Crystal gone. Did you? This is one of the Sidon mages, isn't it? Mazulf Key, research log. Attendant Garvros, the council has become aware of the lack of progress in your group's efforts. They are particularly displeased to learn that your specifications for the focusing crystal were completely incorrect. The entire Binders Conclave has worked tirelessly, and the council is quite sure this new crystal will suit your needs. You are herewith entrusted with delivering the crystal to the site. Complete your work, and deliver a full report to the council with all possible haste. The council trusts you will deliver the crystal to the oculary personally, and that there will be no further complications. First adjutant, or adjutant, Oranel. What is the importance of this focusing crystal? What is it the Synod are doing here? Lucien, you. have you got any insights? Do you have any knowledge to share about the Synod or Magnus, actually? Oh, not much. Only that he was the architect of the mortal plane. Nothing special. When it was forming, and he and the other gods realized Lorcan had tricked them, he fled to Aetherius, tearing a hole in oblivion. Naturally, that hole became the sun. And because a bunch of other lesser gods followed him, they made holes of their own. The stars. Cosmic vandalism aside, it's rumored that Magicka is actually the remnants of his power. Right. I I thought this would have been a different Magnus that wasn't mythological at all. I thought this was just lost to history, but this seems proper... Well, divine. Divine knowledge. And have, is his staff written about anywhere if this is the Magnus? Oh, there have been staffs of Magnus kicking around since the Second Era. Usually wielded by heroes saving the world. Whether they're all the same one is hard to say. 
In any case, they're extremely powerful, as you might guess. So we might have more than one staff. Or perhaps they were fakes. Or perhaps Let's we're not moving. after one at all in here. Maybe it's something else entirely. Well, we're the in. Ocularie, eh? Now that sounds worth investigating. That it does. Hey, your Dwemer speciality senses are tingling. Let's get the bowl. I'm not done collecting cutlery yet. What have we got? A trap. That's what we've got. What does it... That's a lot of spikes in the ceiling. Spikes or fire. It's usually spikes or fire. Right, careful. Is this another one of the, the Synod researchers? We'll take his potion. Conjure Battle Mage. Call upon the services of a lower ranking Battle Mage for 216 seconds. Activate to purchase permanent upgrades. Interesting. A permanent upgrade for a temporary spell. Come on. Right. There's some spiders up ahead. Dwemer spiders, thankfully. Right. Careful. Oh! Like this one! And... S2. I don't think the rock joint's slowing me down somewhat, or maybe that bonus from the set of cards offsets it. A Dwemer Convector? What is a Dwemer Convector? Lucian? Have you... any idea? That's... Odd. Is that Ethereum on the chest as well? I guess we'll only find out what it is by pushing onwards. It really does feel like those statues, those those busts on the walls are watching you as you go past. Oh, okay, we've been spotted. You don't move that quickly when you've not spotted something. Another. Come on. Ow. Oh, no, that was pretty bright. He went out in a big old explosion of brightness. Is that all of them? Now, that's not a very subtle trap. When they're in the ceiling, maybe. But when they're on the floor, definitely not. Right. Let's be careful we don't accidentally trigger this. There we go. And voila. Does that lead deeper in? Where does this one lead? Normally, we want the trapped doors because they lead us either where we want to go or to valuables. You don't trap a door unless you want to Definitely try to keep somebody out. Oh. Okay. Get the spider. Oh. Mine the sparks. There's Moonstone. And a collapsed tunnel and an empty chest. Perhaps whatever that door was trapped for was on the other side of this cave-in. Because otherwise, there doesn't seem to be anything in here other than a spider waiting to hurt us. Well, that was a bit of a dud. Right, come on, gentlemen. Is that another body? No, it's just... It's just a dish. Shadows playing tricks on my mind. Right. I see you. Do you see me? No! Oh, oh, now you do, because I hit you. There we go. Ah! 
God, I hate it when they explode like that. It's just that... Oh, it's a little bright, but I can see a lot more clearly. The Firebolt spell isn't particularly effective against them. And let's grab some bowls and dishes. I can always put that in a phantasmal chest. Well, we're not deep underground yet. Oh, you can see some foliage coming through the crack, so we're definitely not that far down. But there is a tree underground, so I think commenting on how far down we can see the foliage isn't the greatest indicator for how deep we are. Is that more moonstone? Should we be mining this moonstone? That's a chorus hunter. I think it's only one of them. Right. Ready? I'm just going to start blasting. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's on its way. Ah, oh, it's a bit in my face. Oh, sorry. I've, I've hit you a couple of times. I didn't mean to. Back up. Have you got it? I can't see. It'll help if I turn my lantern on. Burn. There we go. You did well there. Oh, he's got a tail pincer. What sort of creature has a tail pincer? I hear much clanking behind these walls. Oh, I'd rather clanking than scuttling. No, nope, no, nope, we're not, we're not touching it. Right. Are we, are we in the clear? I don't want to take any ingredients when I know there's a chorus in this area. Oh. Right. I think after you lost your first two Synod researchers, you probably shouldn't have persevered and pushed further inwards. There is a lot of moonstone here still. Knapsack, mortal blood, and a healing potion. This must have been a base camp of sorts then. Judging from all the supplies around here. Okay, I'm going to assume they probably lost all their researchers in one go. Something was awoken. I, your mouth's moving in a go, but I can't hear what you're saying. I'm not going deaf, am I? I've never really wondered how loud these firebolts are, but I suppose it could be relatively loud. What's... There's a trip. Trip wire. I'm just going to trigger it and step back. Oh! Well, that's what that does. We don't need to worry about that anymore. And I hope that hasn't destabilized this corridor at all. There's more chorus. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. In a go. I don't like it. You are not Please get it. Oh, 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 it's horrible. Really held his own in that fight. I am impressed. Oh, there's another one. We're not done. We're not done. Burn it. Oh. Okay. I'm calm. I'm collected. I'm in control. They are really horrible creatures, though. It's not just me. They, they are they are dreadful, horrible, hideous little creatures. Like, what part of the ecosystem do they even serve? I know, I know spiders. And this doesn't include giant spiders, but small spiders. You know, they, they eat flies and pests and other, other insects. And, you know, bumblebees. I mean, we love bumblebees. Bumblebees are lovely. They pollinate flowers. And they create delicious honey. But what do chorus do? Other than be grotesque and scavenge. I don't want to know, actually. I don't want to know what they do. I just want them to be gone. If I had a wish, it would be that giant spiders be not quite so giant and for chorus just to be gone altogether. Oh. There's a sphere. Who's here and there's a sphere? Okay, arms. Back. Got it. Nice. Take all of those. You might have to take the lead with the melee. 
considering my rock joint. And it's definitely not just because I'm scared in general. Although I wouldn't blame anybody if they were. Oh, hello. What's through here? Alright. Watch my back. I really need to do something about these lockpicks. There we go. Right, what have we got? There's Dwemer ingots, gauntlets, gyro, bowl, chest. Quite a nice little ring. Okay, we'll take we'll take this. We can always store it away. And I smell oil and rust. I'm not getting any other rust. This metal is remarkably well preserved. Some of the automata, actually, they get a little bit rusty, don't they? I suppose they're actually rolling around in in water and things. Right, we'll take all of this. The dagger can stay. What else have we got here? Dwemer copper marks. Well, there's two of them in this chest. We can put one display and keep one for luck. And I've not seen a Synod Mage in a hot minute. I don't know about you two. But I somehow don't think Synod Mages are that lucky to get out of this alive. I'm not expecting to find any of them alive. Call me a cynic, but... Hello. It normally turns out that way, doesn't it? The last two people we found alive in a Dwemer ruin wanted to kill each other and then try to kill us. Come on! There we go. Take that. What is below us? A lot of machinery. What? Sphere! Okay. Oh, it's seeing me. Okay. This. Yeah, take that. Oof. Better off this way. I thought it was about to skewer me. Right, you're coming with me. And oh, we're just gonna blast you. God, they get quick when they sense danger. Right, well that leaves blow all that machinery. It leaves further down. Where does this go? Into a bigger chamber. I'm curious what's down this way. There's an alchemy bench. So I'm going to assume the Synod made it this far in. Take all of this. Before we push onwards as well, we'll empty, or rather deposit some stuff into the Phantasmal chest. All right. Expert lock. Mind you don't get hit by the gate when I eventually get this open. Voila. Sword, chest, fake cards. I can't remember if I need aces, but we'll just take everything anyway. We can either sell it later or trade it later for a different card in a different set. Right, let's take this and let's get the phantasmal chest out. Is there anything you guys want me to put away? While we're getting it open. Right, that's better. Right, let's get our firebolt at the ready again. And let's see what dangers await us in yonder chamber. It's a hell of a big room, this one.
There's a sphere on the other side of here. That wasn't me. Do you hear that little explosion? Right, it's patrolling that way. We should probably be careful and check out down there. We go onwards, like carefully skirt that. Get ready to fight the spear. Okay. Ow. Oh. Yeah, remember to block. There we go. Take the sphere. Oh, the, the content of the spear. And the Dwemer metal. Right, what was down here then? It looks like a dead end. Is this part of that trap? Because I don't see anything down there. Very carefully. Mind those. Ah. Uh. That wasn't funny. You stepped on that intentionally. You didn't step on it the first time I went across. Don't give me the whole... Oh, it's only going to give you a hand when you were going down there. Ow. There we go. Oh, there's another one. Yeah, if you'd pushed me off and then they jumped out at me, I probably would have hurt myself. Or been injured. Right, this does just seem like a pit for those those pistons to push you into. And I'm going to get across here before you can think to step on them again. Yeah? Right, careful. Careful. Oh, you're a jammy bugger, Lucian. You nearly took Inigo down with you. He's dexterous enough to avoid it. Right. Oh. Hello. Oh, it's Falm. Oh, it's Falmer. That's bad for a new number of reasons, but it's also bad because now I think I've got to try this. Uh, let's get that, that syringe device out. And harvest the blood. Oh, that this isn't good. This, this isn't good. I'm not, I'm not proud of that. And even, this, this does just seem a little bit disrespectful. And I know they're Falmer, but there's an Orcish maze so having that. Don't know how that got down here, but it's coming. I just don't think we should be harvesting anybody's blood. It feels a little bit vampiric. If you ask me. We're still in the clear. There's another Falmer. No sign of more Synod mages. No sign. Oh, there's a chest. Conjure Craft Lord calls the Dwemer Sage to Nern. Have that, thank you. I don't see anything else. We get it, Lucian. Come on, let's get through here. There's more destroyed Dwemer spiders and a there's a sphere here as well. I'm starting to think maybe it wasn't the Synod that destroyed these, and it was actually the Falmer. There's been no sign of them in a while. The Synod this is. I don't know if they made it this far in. And that piece is still moving. Was that destroyed recently? Hello? Hello? I want to call out for the Synod Mage, but I also don't want to call out because there's Palma. Okay! Oh god! Help! Okay! It is so oh. oh, sorry, don't mind that fireball. No, that's good. Well done. Right. Be wary. They are tough. Raw Feldspar will have that. Yeah, 
he took he took a beating and we had to jump on him as well. Anything back here, gyros. Take the ingot. Around here. That just goes back around to where we came in. Only one way for it, then. There's more Falmer. I think this is autocannon time. Right. If I put this here... Clear! Yeah. Right. Mind any arrows. In it go. Feel free to shoot back whenever you're good and ready. Oh, come on. Try not to make the autocannon fire into a wall. Yeah, we got it. Go on, also cannon. Come on. Yes, yes. Oh, right. Okay, step out of the firing circle. God, I love that thing. <laughs> 